everyone, it's me, Sean Kenny, and I'm back playing some more Goddess. And I've been expanding just the little land bridge here. So I have a nice little gradient uh, spots for uh, lots more houses. Uh, and even uncovered a treasure chest that I saved here for you. So let's see what's in it. Oh, and it's an ochre card. That should get... Oh, right on. That's going to complete our Commandments Faith card. Oh, ooh. Uh, so our followers have... Uh, Oh, we have commandments now. All right. Um, oh, we're now moving into the growth period. Permanent go growth. Okay. Uh, let's. I uh, want to go back. Let's see what this uh, commandment card says. Followers that have watched you over the development of their civi civilization. Civilization is that right? Huh. All right. <laughs> I played Civilization long enough that, uh, that something, some rings incorrect for me about that spelling of Civilization. Uh, alright. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to Google check it because far be it for I am a terrible speller, so far be it for me to correct somebody's spelling. Uh, wow. Alright, and have started turning your actions and behavior into rules to live by. Alright, so we have commandments. Uh, the, our commandments are, The progress of civilization is a sinful ambition in thy, go thy God's eyes. Oh. Well, alright. Okay. The holiest land to settle upon is that of the deserts and shores. Trees must be respected and not reaped unthinkingly. Alright, fair enough. Um, I, we're only living uh, <laughs> along the shorelines just because we can, and and I don't know why civilization is is shunned. Um, but let uh, be that as it may, we have our commandments now. Oh, we've unlocked. Um, apparently, we have gems. Uh, there is no store, so so yeah, there is no store. Um, I'm not quite sure what that's going to lead to, but, uh, oh, we're about to, to level up as well. Uh, I, th I think we've explored everything, everything within, uh, my territory here. Um, all I really need, I can just, uh, send more people off to, to go and, uh, see, now that guy, uh, obviously he's out of range of, of, of one of those, um, areas, so, we can actually, our totem is still there, I don't need to move it, so it's just an extra 20 to activate, and then I can uh, deactivate it, and yeah, now he's he's close enough, he'll uh, he'll see those houses, housing areas, uh, right on, so uh, we'll need to be developing that area up as we, uh, hopefully we'll just get, we just need the one more person, and uh, we can expand more in here as well, oh, there we go, more land expansion, excellent, uh, got all kinds of belief just laying around here. Uh, we got a nice little reservoir going, so we can do some terraforming, uh, which is going to be great because now that we have the expansion, I'm sure. Oh, look at that! Uh, oh yeah, there's the, the chest that we weren't, weren't able to get before, uh, so we can get felt. Okay, uh, well, good to, good to have some felt in the bank. Uh, looks like there's something here. Uh, trees, I don't want to destroy you, but... Uh, now, may maybe that's just based on my actions. Maybe by leaving the trees alone, um, that will uh, make them want to leave the trees. I, I don't know, I figure you can't... I, I don't know of any way of getting trees back, so... Uh, I figure we'll keep them while we can. And what do we got? No, more stone. We got all kinds of stone. Uh, something's down here, so I'm just keep right-clicking to dig. As you can see, it's just clearing out a hole. Uh, it'll keep digging it wider and wider uh, till it gets to, uh, I guess, the maximum. Oh, and then, oh, we've we've gone through all, all of our belief already. And uh, so as you can see now, uh, these small houses, houses we were getting like 15. Uh, this big house, we're going to get like 40, 41. Oh, nice, 28. Uh, but these are from the, the, the bigger houses. Now, these are the more advanced bigger houses, that's going to get us like 140, something like that, so uh, that's why I'm going to uh, want to replace all these tents with newer construction, 
Uh, so, I think we're going to have a little bit of destruction in our future. But first I want to uh, do uh, do what exploring I can around here. Oh, there's another... Uh, another uh, chest here. I want to expose. Ooh, animal furs. Alright, uh, no use for that yet either. Uh, let's get rid of all the stones. We're going to have a nice a nice large town around this big monument. Uh, as much as I don't want to get rid of trees, we'll uh, a couple trees. Oh, there's going to be lots of trees left, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, we already used up all our faith. We still have a big hole going down towards another chest. So as you can see, uh, well, especially when you get a land expansion, it's it's an exciting time uh, checking out the new territory, uh, seeing what's within range. So as we check out the the mountains here. You can zoom right in, which is quite nice. You can rotate. Uh, as you can see, if, as soon as you move, it wants to go back to its default setting, which is a little annoying. Uh, and the rotate... oh yeah, especially if you're rotating and... You, uh, so that didn't get me where I wanted to go at all. Alright, let's just uh, keep coming down. Oh, and we're once again out of force. Uh, I still see a bunch of cards, uh, all kinds of stuff to explore here. Now, these uh, these felt ones uh, are our first constructions. They, they regenerate pretty quickly. As you can see, I just got that. It's probably going to regenerate in two minutes uh, for a small house. That's about three minutes for the large house. Uh, if we look at these houses, uh, you're looking at you know, 35 minutes and I, I'm not even sure how long ago that that house started generating it. So um, it's it's kind of a big trade-off, but in the end, once you sort of have all your houses upgraded, it is quite nice because they get a nice big res reserve of uh, belief that you can then go do do a lot of work with. Uh, it'll keep you occupied for quite a bit of time, um, about enough time for you to come back and collect more. Oh, we had to dig down, like, really deep. Ah, oh, more felt. I don't know what f what felt is doing so deep under the ground, but uh, I want to fill that... Spending all that belief to dig the hole, now we want to fill it back in. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, why not? You, uh... Yeah, we're, we need to expand our, our villages a little bit, so we might as well send a few people out. Uh, I don't want a whole lot of people crowding the streets uh, with their dying and and using up all my uh, all my belief in, in in their dying, which is is no good. Uh, that guy obviously is lost, so I'm going to activate that totem. Hopefully that will get him close enough to. Uh, there he goes, right on. All right, you go build those houses. Uh, we can end up having a mass migration, but I kind of want to have my my village boundaries sort of set before I do the mass migration. That's one nice thing. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot in the way of time constraints so far, so it's it really is a play at your leisure uh, kind of game, which is always I'm a fan of. Yeah, just sit there and sculpt uh, as we go. So, got a little bit more force saved up here. Let's try and, uh, I want to fill this hole back in, um, but then we have to go looking for some more. Uh, as far as I can tell, they seem to be, it seems to be all set one map um, so far. Um, from what some people have said, that it's supposed to end up being procedurally generated to a certain degree. Um, certainly be looking forward to that. That's, you know, uh, I, I think there's you know, there's definitely some gameplay mechanics. Uh, you know, one thing I'm noticing is I I just want to keep playing this. I just want to I just want to spend all day <laughs> uh, growing my little village. Uh, so that's a good sign. It you know I just I want to play this game. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's that's the only real recommendation uh, that you need. <laughs> if if this looks interesting to you, uh, of course. Uh, so as you can see, I'm, I'm going to try and 
I think this layer is a, a pretty good layer to try and develop. Oh, look, there's some... Oh, I've, I've been um, busy landscaping when I really should be collecting those uh, cards as they are going to be what's really important in, uh, in developing new technology, new houses. Um, you know, as they say, if, if this is going to take us up to the space age, then obviously we're, there's going to be a lot of changes in the houses and the, uh, the villages, maybe industry, who knows, who knows what we can build. Alright, let's uh, start filling this in. Oh yeah, before I do that though, let's uh, check out those cards as I was just talking about. We want to unlock those. There we go. Felt. Okay, more felt. Uh, good to have felt around. And another one underwater. What do we got? More, more felt. Some some wet and soggy felt. Um, sorry, trees. I don't I don't want to destroy you, but we might have to. Yeah, that's a shame. Timber. All right. Well, we got we got timber out of it. Uh, all right, and that's the layer we want. Also, expand that out. Oh, we have a, another, uh, some kind of another box hidden under the ground. So we'll have to do another digging expedition here. But we're going to need a lot of force for that. I know it's belief, but I'm going to call it force because that's what uh will be a, a Jedi god. <laughs> Not really. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh yeah, this is going to be a nice little town. I think I might clear out to about here as far as the forest goes, but we'll leave the rest. Now, there are wolves in the forest, and they're really annoying, and I didn't know how to kill them. Um, but thankfully, someone on Reddit was saying that if you click on them uh, enough times, it will kill them, because uh, my, villages, mil my villagers certainly w weren't uh, that they're completely helpless. They just, uh, they would just run away and get eaten constantly. So it was uh, a little bit of a, a gameplay mechanic in, all right, I, I want to expand into this area. Uh, what I'll need to do is send uh, everyone that's available into the forest, build this house quick. Uh, whoever gets to live in it, good. Uh, the rest of you are going to be eaten by wolves. Um, which is bad for you, but we will get a house built. So some, you know, a few of you are going to get lucky and get to live in the house. <laughs> uh, I would not want to be a builder on that construction site. Uh, so I don't know where the wolf went to. I'm sure he'll pop up, though. Uh, but I guess by clicking on the wolf, we'll be able to, uh, to kill the wolf. So... If I run into them, uh, I'll be sure to show you guys. What do we got? We got some more timber. Uh, so, I mean, that's good. We're getting a lot of resources to uh, to put in the bank, I guess. Um, let's... Oh, and we need more belief. All right, well, what do we need? We need 20 more people. So, I think, uh, once again, at this point, I'll probably just... Uh, We'll stop it here, and I'll advance time through the, the magic of YouTube editing, and we'll just uh, we'll get to the point where I'm about to uh, pass over to, to 250 people, and um, uh, yeah, I think we got might ex might find one one or two more boxes. It looks like there's a box there. I don't know. If Oh, yeah, we can click on it. All right, meat. Nice. All right, we got some meat. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. There's a wolf, and I just, yeah, it takes like four or five clicks on them. Uh, it uses like five belief each click. But that will get rid of your wolf problem. I don't know if they'll come back. Maybe. But, uh, like I said, I think for now, what I'll do is I'll advance time a little bit. I'll probably expand the shoreline. Um, sends a bunch more builders up here, and uh, we'll we'll get up to the 250 mark, and continue on from there. So I'm Sean Kenny. This is playing Goddess. Thanks for watching. So long for now.